Hello you guys and welcome. Long time no see. I know I've been a bit MIA. Now that my kiddos are back in school, I can focus more on my videos and being more consistent. That is my plan for this new school year. So I hope you guys are doing great. I have another DIY video for you today. But before I get into the DIY, I just wanted to share something really fun. I figured I would throw it at the beginning of this one. If you guys don't wanna watch, I will put a timestamp when the actual DIY starts. But I'm gonna show you guys something really cool that a friend of mine recently gave me, and it's for kids. So this could be a great like baby shower gift. Uh, my kids are five and seven, and they actually loved playing with this thing. I was surprised because I thought maybe it was for more for younger kids but mine actually loved it. So if you have little grandkids or little kids yourselves that are like toddler age, they are gonna love this thing. So this is what we're gonna talk about. This is called, it's from the company Educating Amy and it says suitable from 18 months. So maybe if you're, they're younger than 18 months, maybe not use it because there are some like pieces that come apart. So let me give you a little backstory about this. So this company is focused on trying to get kids away from screens, like tablets, TVs, phones, anything. Um, I know when my little ones were really little, just it was so hard just to like take a shower, do laundry, do anything, vacuum the house. So I would plop them in front of the TV and they would watch a show while I did all that stuff. So this company is trying to get kids away from the screen time so at a young age. So this thing is so cool. It's called a quiet book. Each one of these is handmade and they're fabric books packed with age appropriate things for kids to do. And like I said, I was worried that my kids were gonna be too old, but even my seven year old was having a blast with this thing. Each page features a Montessori style creative play activity. And the cool thing about it is that each page, I'm gonna get into it and show you guys the pages, but it has like this particular one has stuff that you are gonna need to learn around the house. And my kids knew how to do some of the stuff because they watched me do it. So I thought that that was really cool that these are like actual learning things that they're gonna need to know in life anyways. And they're gonna learn at a really young age. And a really, so this is like the main reason I wanted to talk about these books because they have such a cool purpose. And so every time one of these books is purchased, they are gonna donate money to a little girl in rural India and they are gonna be able to send her to school. So this company, Educating Amy, prepays a year's tuition for a girl in India. So every time a book is purchased, this is gonna cover about four weeks of that tuition. So, okay, when you open the book up, it's got a little um, snap on the back and it does have a zipper back here because you will see there are little items in this book that um, you could store in here. And it is so like, it's such good quality. And the cool thing is, is to know that it was handmade by someone. So like in the front here, this little thing, this little, it's just like a little button and that comes off. So that'll kind of teach kids how to use buttons, how to button their pants. Um, so when you open it on the first page here, so basically it's a book, there's no words or anything, so the kids can just play or they can kind of make their own story. So it com this one comes with a little girl in here and she has, it's like Velcro right here because you can put different clothes on her, but they can go, she can go in the bed. Um, she's got a little book over here on her little bedside table and that can come off. And then over here, you can do like day or that's nighttime, obviously. And then you take it out and flip it around. And then there's like a little daytime scene. So there are just so many new, like different items that they can play with. Like my girls were, whoops, let's put her in the bathtub. My girls were having so much fun playing with this. And like every time they turned the page, they found something different. Um, and you can open this over here and it's got a toothbrush and toothpaste. And it's so cool how everything has like Velcro. So um, it can stay in place. And then this one, it's got all of her little clothes. And then it's got the washing machine and an ironing board over here. And my daughter like started ironing and I was like, oh, she must've learned that from watching me. Um, and then it's got the fridge and there's a bunch of different foods in there. And then the, look at this, you guys, this is so cool. I love this part. So inside the car, you open it up. 
there's a seat belt for her. So you can put her right in here and then there's a little seat belt. I thought that was so cute. And my girls just had a blast playing with this. I'll insert some video of them playing with it. And I will tell you guys, they played with this for like an hour. So these were just really cool. I wanted to tell you guys about it. Sorry for the rambling about it, but my, like I said, my friend gave it to me and I just thought it was so cool. I wanted to share it with you guys. So I will put the website down in the description box if you guys want to check it out. It has a really cool purpose, cause, and um, not going to lie, the books are not cheap, but they're hand sewn. They're going to last a long time. You can pass these on from generation to generation, and these would make an awesome like baby shower gift. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so now back into the DIY. So this one, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love to play with poster board, and you know I love the Dollar Tree. So... I am going to be making a craft using poster board from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna be doing my galvanizing method. So you're just gonna need two of those paint products. You're gonna need a gray spray paint or a gray paint. Did I spray paint this one? Yes, I did spray paint this one. And then you're also gonna need uh, like a metallic silver um, acrylic paint. So that's pretty much, you really don't need a whole lot for this project. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bells because I plan on posting at least two videos a week. Fingers crossed, hopefully I can make that happen. And give this video a thumbs up and let's get into this DIY. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a ruler and I'm gonna make a 12 by 12 inch square. So I'm just marking off with my ruler 12 inches and 12 inches and then you're going to go ahead and cut that out. Now this step is absolutely not necessary, but I have this little tool, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And what this is doing is just rounding like the corners so that they're not totally pointy and straight. And you can do this with scissors, or if you would like to leave them straight, you can as well. But I wanted to make them a little bit curved and then use this little tool for that. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is take my gray spray paint and I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and spray paint that. And then once that's all dry, I'm gonna do my galvanizing method. So I'm taking this platinum acrylic paint and sponging it on with just like a little sea sponge. And I always have my glove because I don't want my nails getting full of paint. So you're just gonna do this on the one side, let it dry, and then do the same exact thing for the other side. Now, once that's completely dry, we're going to start folding it. And if you guys have not guessed by now, we're making an envelope. So it's one of those galvanized envelopes that looks like it's metal, but this is actually poster board. So you're going to take the two sides and fold those in and you want to kind of see, like space them out. And then once you get them to the spot you want them, then you can really fold them down and crease them. And then you're going to take that bottom part and fold that up. And then the top part you're going to leave open. So once you get it all like folded to the right, like how you want it, then you can get your hot glue gun out and glue down the sides. And you're just gonna do those two little sides right there and then make sure you leave the inside open because we are going to be adding some flowers to it. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of twine that this, this is definitely from Dollar Tree and you're just going to cut a little bit off and this is going to be the hanger. So I'm just taking a little hot glue and I'm going to glue this side and then I'm going to kind of space it out to the length that I want it to be, glue the other side and then cut the excess twine off. Next, I'm gonna take these lavender flowers. These are from Walmart. Now, I found these, I've had these for so many different other projects and I just keep reusing them. They're completely cut off the stem, but I picked these up at Walmart. They were like 97 cents, so they're cheaper than Dollar Tree. And I feel like they look a lot more high quality than the Dollar Tree flowers. Dollar Tree flowers are kind of hit or miss, and I, I don't know, I found some really cute stuff from Walmart. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and start stuffing these into the envelope. And I'm not gluing these down because I figured if I wanted to change them up at some point, it would be easy to do, but you could glue them down if you would like. And that is it for this project. This one was super duper easy and I think it turned out so cute and it looks exactly like the high-end ones that I've seen at the store that can cost you like $40. So I think this turned out really, really cute. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on making this little project super easy and super duper cute. And again, if you guys wanna check out this book, down in the description box, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to show you guys. So I hope you all have a great day and we'll see you all next time. Bye.